two 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 day we will talk about XRP, XDC, R3 Corda, and what they are actually working on tokenizing. And let's just play that right now. We're already seeing a lot of these traditional giants come into the space. You know, HSBC tokenizing gold. Uh, we're seeing, as I mentioned, JP Morgan. We're already seeing a lot of these traditional giants come into the space. You know, HSBC tokenizing gold. Uh, we're seeing, as I mentioned, JP Morgan. But we're already seeing. Yep, and that just goes on repeat there to have some fun with it. But that is not. Um, it is not anything that is h h hidden. Um, from uh, November of 2023, we have an R3 c customer, HSBC, on the launch of its d d DLT-based gold tokenization p p platform. And if they are connected to R3, then it is highly likely that they are connected into XDC as well and therefore are uh, at least tangentially connected into XRP by way of SBI. But there's more on that in a, in a bit. So they are, uh, they have been working together in a, a other ways since about uh, 2020. Um, they planned to tokenize uh, about 10 billion at that time and wanted to increase that by another 10 I believe yeah so that is all of the way back from 2020 now here is the uh, an article about this clip here where he uh, said that HSBC is actually tokenizing gold well uh, whoops it is actually th that one so that is from November of 2023, and it is talking about how HSBC itself is actually now offering tokenized gold. Well, who is actually connected into HSBC? So you've got some uh, ins there with XDC by way of R3, but you also have Ripple and XRP. They have been uh, we're working with them for quite some time. HSBC right up here in the top right on this map. By XX 11331221111. Uh, so that is not too surprising because we uh, continuously see that XRP, XDC, and even XLM, which I will also touch on here in a bit, they are interconnected time and time again. So uh, it is not unlikely that R3 is actually um, much more connected into this gold tokenization effort with HSBC than what might have been uh, directly written about in the article here and that is because uh comtech is actually tokenizing gold on the xdc network right now it is built on the xdc network itself and uh, there is um, a lot more explanation on here if you are interested in that i actually uh did a video on this probably um, a couple of months ago now so I would suggest to go check that out so how does um, ripple get even more c c connected in here well from November 27th of 2023 which is just about three weeks after this announcement here uh, you've got um, ripples uh, I'm, I just had um, a brain fart and I couldn't read. Um, Ripple excites the XRP army as Medico acquisition brings banks closer. So uh, Ripple actually acquired Medico, I think at the beginning of 2023. Uh, and 
and they are working with HSBC as well. And that is uh, particularly interesting because this company is actually uh, working on uh, providing options to help uh, different companies become more uh, compliant with uh, regulations as they roll out. So here's an interesting thing that I found uh, right before I got on here. Um, here's a little bit more about Medico themselves. Uh, they are offering all kinds of services and uh, are predicting that the total potential of tokenization could be in the 20 trillion range by 2030. Um, I think that might be pretty conservative at this point, uh, especially with all of the talk of uh, tokenization by the uh, CEO of B BlackRock. Um, I think that will catch on quickly. So uh, on their site as well, they are trying to uh, help people satisfy demand for new asset classes. Uh, that's basically crypto at this point. So what are they offering? Well, uh, they are offering crypto and d d d d digital assets services for both retail and institutional customers, uh, primarily f for c custody and a c couple of other options, uh, create products with crypto underlying, such as derivatives. And where do XRP and XDC connect in there? Well, uh, we've got XRP. Uh, connected to the ISDA, which is the International Swaps and der Derivatives Association. And uh, XDC, I was about to say the DTCC, but that's um, not the best example. I had an idea and then I lost it. And then they are also talking about tokenizing traditional financial assets such as real estate, music, art, luxury collectibles, and jewelry on top of uh, securities such as equities and bonds, which, uh, which XDC is actually working on that right now. And then uh, there's some uh, t t t tongue in cheek bit here, which is uh, probably a little bit uh, too tinfoil to, to expand on a whole lot, but uh, they are referring to it as the gold, I can't say STs, but we will talk about their harmonized platform up a bit more and uh, while I'm on that it says uh, supported by IBM cloud hyper protect and who is connected into IBM uh, that is XLM the IBM IBM world wire platform actually uh, runs on XLM as far as anyone can actually tell at this point in time. And then you've got the uh, Hyper Ledger connecting Casper HBAR and SHX as well as a number of other assets and networks. So this is the Medico site. I won't get too far in to this just because it has a lot of information on here and it's easy to uh, just get caught up in a bunch of uh, uh, j j j j jargon that doesn't really help us out. But I found this from Mr. Man XRP and uh, we explore it a little bit more. 
So, one, HSBC has partnered with Medico to offer a custody service for d d digital assets, including tokenized gold that will uh, use their harmonized platform and is an extension of HSBC's digital platform, which is called Orion. Uh, the custody service for d d digital assets, including t tokenized gold, is planned to be launched in 2024. Uh, this is the paradigm shift that we have been hearing about. Two, uh, I'll actually um, pause that, show more. Yeah, so uh, they are, the, the Harmonize platform is an orchestration system for d d digital assets to hold, trade, and manage tokens and access a DeFi eco system. So let's play this clip here. pretty uh, customizable as well uh, with it highlighting the, the, the APIs. So then we go on to talk about DZ Bank. Uh, they are working with Ripple's Medico Harmonize platform to offer a digital asset custody service, including the custody of crypto securities, which shows the integration of blockchain technology into traditional banking and reflects the growing fusion of conventional finance and crypto. Okay, so um, that is being used to enable the bank to act as a crypto custodian for institutional clients and settle and hold crypto securities in compliance with regulations, which we will talk a little bit more about regulatory clarity here in just a, a bit. Okay, so that is some shots from their site and some announcements. This is from 2018, uh, Atomic Protocols, the and how everything actually works, which should look pretty familiar right now, uh, particularly this one on the right side. And um, yeah, it calls out the interledger protocol as well. Okay, so we go on to the last one. HSBC leverages XRP through its partnership with Ripple-owned Medico for its crypto initiatives, including the launch of an institutional custody platform for tokenized securities. While not everything is known at this point in time, as far as XRP's integration into HSBC's Orion platform are not explicitly called out, it can be inferred that XRP's role is related to the broader ecosystem of digital assets and blockchain technology. Okay, so uh, here was a little bit more on how 
uh, this asset tokenization can actually work with Ripple owned Medico from Andrew XCIV. So asset agnostic tokenization. You can uh, ha have a complete smart contract management framework to turn any type of bankable or non-bankable asset into tokens. And that was kind of highlighted, I believe, uh, back in this one, which was shown here uh, with these examples. Okay, so here is a little bit more about regulatory clarity and how uh, Ripple in particular is uh, positioning itself very well uh, to be ahead of uh, regulatory uh, c c compliance when it hits. Because despite what people say, institutions are coming, institutions are coming. In reality, the crypto market has remained generally inaccessible to banks and other financial firms. Why? Well, the entire current uh, crypto trading landscape has grown up out of a quasi-revolutionary ecosystem, primarily for uh, retail clients, and at least initially with little to none regulatory oversight. And there is uh, one more interesting tie back into XLM and IBM. If you uh, go on the other post in there, it says Medico partnerships with RuleMatch and IBM. All cryptos on RuleMatch are handled in segregated wallets using the Medico harmonized system in combination with IBM Cloud Hyper Protect. So that's just another way to tie XRP, XDC, and XLM t t t together.